Time to compare the two new left wings of the winter wildcards event guys yes i'm talking about luis diaz and diego jota one is free and one is very cheap on the market so in this video particularly i will be comparing both of these left wings in the head to head so hello kami welcome back to the channel the discord and instagram link is given in the description and of course from the last 3 days i was not active at all guys because the function of the college is going on it was really well so it's time to get back to fc mobile and to upload some entertaining videos for all of you so let's Go. So right now you can see stats of Diego Jota at 15 level upgrades, blue rank, 112 pace, 111 dribbling, 90 physical, 103 shooting. It is looking really nice and acceleration is fine, agility is good, reactions are good, positioning is nice, finishing is good as well. Strength, physical and passing all everything is great. When I talk about the head to head gameplay, he was uh, pretty good guys. Of course, he was uh, up to the expectations that was a beautiful fake shot and a great shot by diego jota there so as you can see here it's levandowski ball towards diego jota is this the heel to heel and when i talk about the skill stun that is pretty decent as well not very special but still it's up to the mark and his finesse shots of course are really great guys he's having five weak foots so of course you are getting a shooting advantage from both of the foots which is an absolute advantage bring a free card as well and positioning like i can say it is really nice levandowski towards jota in the very tight position this is the benefit guys look at that five weak foot gil will give you the benefit from these types of angles that's why this uh, Diego Jota bring a free card is just really really nice. There we go. Fake shot, beautiful fake shot. Blanc is stunned. That was really some effective and excellent work by him. This was my best goal, I guess. And there we go again. Uh, it's Jota, and I'm taking him back, keeping a little bit patient. And there we go again with the opener fake shot. Shoots the ball and a great goal again, guys. So all over card is really really good. Of course he's up to the expectation, guys. Like Jota cards have been in the head to head. His uh, speed is pretty nice as well. And let's go for the scoop turn. There with the opener fake shot. Shooting shooting is special, guys. He will not miss any of your shots from any of the angle you can strike. Again, look here. Here you get the advantage of five weak foot from the from both of the foot, guys. Left or right doesn't matter. He can strike the balls inside the net, and that's why uh, being a uh, using a five weak foot card at left wing is always an advantage. And look at the fina his finesse shots are also just too nice. His shooting is special, guys. As I already said, here we go. Diego Jota heel to heel, taking him at the backside, being a very patient here. Fake shot. There we go for the finesse shot and beautifully striked inside again. So all over nice card and. Now time to check Luis Diaz he's at the purple rank 20 level upgrades of course his stats are better than Jota even if he is at that 15 level his stats will be still better than Jota of course you can see his dribbling and uh, pace stats are just really really nice guys physical is also good and his passing stats are also just very crazy 511 height as well and uh, he is having long shot taker trait as well high medium work rates are pretty solid for him and he is a tradable card which is an absolute advantage for him to be honest and when i say about uh, luis diaz guys uh, of course this card is explosive yes you heard me right this card is explosive he is too quick he is even quicker than diego jota as well and his shots are juicy as well his shots are excellent to be honest and the best part which i like about this card guys is uh, his positioning also you can see here fernando torres from the weak foot from that angle he strike the ball it's not like if you are using a four weak foot card then he will be uh, not very good he is absolutely good guys he can strike from his weak foot from some tight angles as well that's an absolute advantage when i talk about the finesse shots of course they are special too and there we go tap soba it's socrates best part is the speed guys he runs like a flash look at that 511 he's taller than jota and is having better skill stun than jota as well so there what the advantage comes for luis diaz again there we go luis diaz fake shot and passing the ball towards torres to diaz in position again he's making a beautiful run there rudiger is coming did the lane change and a finesse shot is coming which will definitely go inside so of course what i'm seeing guys that is really really important uh if i compare uh, luis diaz and diego jota then diaz is having clearly better dribbling and pace if compared to jota only where he can lack is might be the shooting guys because jota is having a five weak foot advantage which will help him but that doesn't mean that diaz is bad at shooting luis diaz is also perfect at shooting 
ऑल्सो आई एम नोटिसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिकॉज ऑफ द अपग्रेड्स डिफरेंस लाइक जोटा इज फिफ्टीन लेवल अपग्रेडेड डियाज इज ट्वेंटी लुक एट दिस गोल गाइज सो ब्यूटिफुल फ्रॉम द वीक फूड फिनेस शॉर्ट बट आई वॉन्ट टू से टू बी ऑनेस्ट लाइक दिस इज नॉट समथिंग लाइक फाइव लेवल अपग्रेड्स डजेंट मेक अ बिग डिफरेंस लुक एट दैट गाइज सो फास्ट सो एक्सप्लोजिव फिनिशिंग फ्रॉम द वीक फूड अगेन सो ऑफकोर्स अ ग्रेट कार्ड सो गाइज एट लास्ट आई हैव टू टेल द कंक्लूजन लाइक विच लेफ्ट विंग यू हैव टू चूज बिटवीन डियागो जोता एंड लुइस डियाज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज ऑलवेज रिमेंबर बोथ ऑफ द लेफ्ट विंग्स लुइस डियाज डियागो जोटा दीज बोथ आर वेरी गुड कार्ड्स ऑफकोर्स दे आर हाईली रिकमेंडेड फॉर द हेड टू हेड टू बी ऑनेस्ट लाइक इट ऑल जस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट इफ यू प्ले विद द लेफ्ट विंग अ लॉट लाइक इफ यू विल आस्क मी हु वुड आई चूज आई वुड चूज डियागो जोटा वट इज द रीजन गाइज द रीजन बिकॉज आई एम एडिक्टेड टू द राइट साइड आई ऑलवेज ट्राई टू ड्रिबल विद राइट विंग and i pass to the left wing and i need finishing finishing short power shooting diego jota is better than luis diaz if you are also addicted on playing the right hand side you can choose diego jota otherwise if you usually use your left wing a lot then of course luis diaz is unbeatable against jota guys he is having clearly the better pace the better close agility the better explosive stun as well so at last diego jota uh, i can say he is really a good card i will definitely recommend in your squad and if you ask me diaz then that is also a great card he is also recommended now you have to choose according to your comfort. but well i would actually suggest you to choose luis diaz only because he is a tradable card and you can definitely sell him on the market for later as well so i think i am able to help you in this video so if you really like this video then make sure to like this video and to subscribe the channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you cannot miss any further notification of such entertaining videos guys so thanks for watching love you all and let's meet in the another comparison video